Okay, here we are. We've got, I used some vice grips to clamp the lead to the post. And in reality, you want to keep these two separated else you'll get false readings. Make sure they do not touch. And my meter is on, set to amperage. We can see what we're pulling from the battery right now, and that is a crap load. That will kill a battery uh, in about six hours, I would assume. So the spec, by the way, for most cars, the specification is 0.001. That's really good. Uh, or 0 0.020, I would say, is the maximum for your average battery not dying overnight. Should be about 0 0.020 amps. Um, or 20 milliamps, I guess, if you want to look at it that way. But right now, that is way too much, okay? I'm going to, uh, first thing I'm going to do, which people don't usually remember, is um, this hood latch here actually has a switch in there so that the body computer can know if the hood is closed or open. That switch open will draw a little bit of power. So what I'm actually going to do is uh, use this screwdriver here lighting's not that good sorry about the lighting but you can see the latch there which actually it's already latched hang on one second okay so I unlatched it so I can show you how to actually latch it when the hood is unlatched you could actually see that's the part that the hood's actually gonna go down into and push down okay so you want to basically push this part right here down straight. I'm going to attempt to do this with the phone in my hand and push it at the same time. Hopefully this works out. And it's going to take some force so please be careful you don't poke a hole into your radiator or somebody's eye. Here it goes. Alright, good job. That's locked. Now we know that switch won't be pulling any amperage. And uh, yeah. So we're still drawing a lot of amperage here, okay, way too much. And so the next thing to do at this point is to give it about 10 minutes for all the computers inside the car, which this old Honda Accord doesn't have that many, but still, it's a general rule to give it about 10 to 15 minutes. This way all the modules can go to sleep mode and turn off, and then you can start drawing a reading. I've already done this, so I'm going to kind of skip that part and show you exactly how I uh, figured out the actual draw. Once again, your maximum should be 0 0.020 max. So anything under that will keep your battery alive for, for days. Um, all right, so <clears throat> moving over here in this 99 Accord, here's our fuse box, which we're going to remove the cover. Now, typically what you want to do is you want to come in here and um, you know, start out with the simpler circuits. Typically on draw issues, it's your lighting circuits that are the issue. Some of your newer vehicles, it's most like uh, the Bluetooth module is the one that's um, sucking too much power with the key off. Basically anything in the car that has power with the key out of it, those are the circuits and fuses you should pull out first, one at a time, and watch the meter as you do it. Um, again, I already cheated. I know what the issue is with this car. And don't forget at the beginning of the video, I had said that the customer complained about the lights going dim in the AC uh, control panel and also it stopped working. So I don't think that's a coincidence. And so I'm going to go, well, actually, let's stay out here and start out here. In this case, the fuse that I wanted to pull before knowing anything, it was the backup and accessory fuse. Now that circuit, the backup part means that your computer is getting 12 volts of power with the key out and off um, to keep the memory alive, okay? Uh, and it keeps the memory alive also in the radio and in this model, the clock that's on the dashboard. The accessory, the ACC portion of the circuit is like the radio and basically the things that are mounted in the dashboard, your radios, your cigarette lighters, those are all accessories. So I'm gonna actually gonna pop that uh, 40 amp fuse out um, which is actually what I did and we'll see what happens. There's my hand on the 40 amp fuse. I'm gonna pull that. But before I pull it, we're at, we've settled down to about 290 millivolts. I'm gonna pull it. Here it goes. It's pulled. Look at that. It dropped to almost nothing. Okay. Now, pulling this back up an accessory fuse, I've 
pulled power from that entire circuit on the inside. So I still need to go further, but at least now I know out of all these relays and fuses and circuits in this car that this is the circuit I need to focus on. Now, from this point out, what you would want to do is get a wiring diagram and look at the circuit in detail. This way you could start unplugging individual components on the